Hi friends, I'm going to be reading the book African Animal Alphabet and I went to school today to get a few things from our classroom and came upon this book and thought it would be a great book to read since we have been talking about African animals this morning. So I hope you enjoy it. African Animal Alphabet by Beverly and Derek Joubert. A is for antelope. Antelopes are mainly found in Africa. Antelopes amble about in herds. Sometimes an antelope like this bushbuck feels adventurous and roams all alone. Did you know there are 72 different kinds of antelopes in Africa? C is for cheetah. Cheetahs love to chase their prey. They are calm and clever hunters. When it is time to catch their dinner, they run and pounce, then chomp and chew with delight. Did you know cheetahs are the fastest animals in Africa? They run at speeds of up to 60 to 70 miles an hour. D is for dung beetle. Two dung beetles roll dirty dung into a decorative ball as they diligently build their home using their delicate little legs. Did you know dung beetles fertilize grasslands by spreading around animal droppings? E is for elephant. A mother elephant and her elegant herd watch an energetic calf as he eagerly tries to stay just out of reach of his mom's elongated trunk. Did you know elephants weigh up to 14,000 pounds and have more than 40,000 muscles in their trunks? F is for fox. Feisty bat-eared foxes frolic and play when nighttime falls. These furry hunters find food underground. Did you know bat-eared foxes only eat insects? They especially like termites and dung beetles. G is for giraffe. Gentle giraffes grow more than 15 feet tall. Their gigantic size helps them reach the green leaves on trees across the great grasslands. Did you know giraffes have tongues that are so tough they can eat thorns? H is for hippopotamus. Hippos spend hot days in cool water, which makes them happy. They have very little hair on their hefty bodies and are often hungry and ready for a huge bite. Did you know hippos are too heavy to jump? They weigh 5,000 to 8,000 pounds. I is for impala. An itsy bitsy baby impala stands up just a few minutes after it is born. Its mom intends to make sure her innocent baby is safe and sound. Did you know a baby impala can jump as high as nine feet just a few days after birth? J is for jackal. Jolly little jackals are jovial and clever creatures. They like to joke with each other when they jostle and play. Did you know when baby jackals grow up, they stay close to home to help feed the next batch of babies? K is for kudu. It is hard to miss this kudu's large corkscrew horn sitting on top of its head. Kudus are king of the antelopes, but they are hard to find because they have a knack for keeping out of sight. Did you know a kudu's bark is one of the loudest of any antelope in the world? L is for lion. Look, a young lion tries to climb a large tree. She hangs from a long limb, but the little lady does not look very happy to be lingering there. Did you know lions eat more than 30 pounds of meat a day? M is for meerkat. Many meerkats are mindful and curious little creatures. They like to meet and mingle and play. When nighttime comes, they sleep mighty closely together to stay cozy and warm. Did you know meerkats love to eat scorpions? They are immune to the scorpion's poisonous venom. N is for Nile crocodile. A Nile crocodile shows his numerous teeth as he sticks his nose out of the water. Nile crocodiles are experts at navigating underwater and nabbing their prey. Did you know when their babies hatch, Nile crocodiles gently carry the newborns to the water in their mouths? O is for ostrich. An observant ostrich wades and splashes through the open water as it stares out curiously with its oval eyes. Did you know an ostrich's eye is two inches across? It has the largest eyes of any land mammal. P is for porcupine. 
A pricky little porcupine keeps its nose pointed close to the ground as it pokes and prods at the pale colored sand beneath its paws. Did you know? Porcupines have teeth that are so strong they can eat elephant ivory if they find it lying in the bush. Q is for quelia. Six cute quelias sit quietly on a tree branch. These quirky creatures can fly very quickly and they like to gather together and quibble in their flock. Did you know? Quelia chicks leave the nest within one day of hatching. R is for rhinoceros. A rambunctious baby rhino readies his escape as he tries to roam away from his regal mother. Did you know black and white rhinos are really all gray? They look darker after wallowing in the mud. S is for squirrel. See the silly squirrels stacked in a tree? They snuggle for warmth on shivery cold days. Did you know squirrels use their front feet to hold on to food when they eat? T is for sesame. Two tiny sesame stay close to their towering mom. When they grow tall and strong, the time will come for them to take off on their own. Did you know sesame are the fastest antelopes in Africa? They can run at speeds of more than 50 miles an hour. U is for umbret. A brown umbret walks slowly through blades of grass. This unusual bird looks unlike any other. It can use its unique beak to grab something yummy to eat under the shallow water. Did you know umbrets are known for building giant nests in the treetops? Some of the nests reach up to eight feet in size. V is for vervet monkey. A velvety soft baby vervet monkey clings very closely to its mother high in a tree. Vervet monkeys are vocal creatures with vociferous voices. Did you know vervet monkeys use sounds and signs to communicate with each other? W is for warthog. Baby warthogs wiggle and roll in wallows of mud whenever they can. This little warthog wobbles out to whisper little grunts to its waiting mom. Did you know warthogs use their snouts as a shovel to dig up roots to eat? X is for Xenopus bullfrog. Xenopus bullfrogs like to sit in water that is extra shallow. If you could x-ray them, you would see that they have extremely sharp teeth. Did you know Xenopus bullfrogs bury themselves in mud and live underground until the rainy season comes? Y is for yellow-billed hornbill. A yellow-billed hornbill stands perched on a termite mound with its yellow beak glowing in the sun. Does it yap, yell, or yip? No, it makes a clucking sound. Did you know the curve of a hornbill's beak helps it dig for termites? Z is for zebra. These zebras are enjoying some playtime on the savanna. Zebras have stripes that zig and zag across their bodies and create zany patterns. Did you know every zebra has a unique stripe pattern just like our fingertips? And that's the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed it.